Monkeypox cases are growing exponentially. The World Health Organization has declared a global health emergency. We have an outbreak that has spread around the world rapidly through new modes of transmission. U.S. officials haven't followed suit yet, but say on a scale of 1 to 10. Always concerned with something that's coming that we have not had to deal with before, so 10. We want to get ahead of it. You don't want it to become a part of life. But how many people have died compared to, say, COVID? Zero. Since May, WHO data shows global cases have risen nearly 80 percent, more than 16,000 total. U.S. cases have jumped to more than 2,800 confirmed cases, according to the CDC. The CDC has identified two cases in children. Experts worry that will be higher come fall. We do not want children to be the canary in the coal mine and suddenly say, oops, we acted too late. In California, monkeypox is consistently showing up in Bay Area wastewater, a sign the infectious virus is spreading at the community level. Cases continue to climb, especially in some of California's larger cities. This demands an even stronger response. The Department of Health and Human Services says labs are running about 80,000 tests a week, and they've sent out vaccines for more than 150,000 people. California and Oregon are among the states requesting more monkeypox vaccine doses. 1.5 million Americans are eligible for a vaccine. The CDC says monkeypox spreads person to person from contact with the sores or scabs or through respiratory droplets or oral fluids through close, intimate contact. You can also get monkeypox from touching recently contaminated clothing or bedding used by an infected person. So a lot to watch for there. Important to note, too, I've gotten this question a lot today with why the U.S. might be lagging behind the World Health Organization and declaring any type of public health emergency. Well, when we compare it to what happened in 2020, the United States lagged behind the WHO as well. WHO had declared that public health emergency back in January 2020 here in the United States. That came down in March, Natalie.